welcome back. Today I have a get ready with me for a baby shower that I went to recently. This look is perfect for any bridal or baby events that you have this year. So let's get started. I started off with Max Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to be applying it all over the eyelid as a base to our makeup look. And then I didn't show it but I did set this with just any matte powder. Now I'm taking Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and with a super fluffy brush, I'm going to blend this all over the crease area as our base transition shade. Placing this color down now will help us later because it'll help all the colors blend seamlessly and this will ensure that all of our transitions are flawless. Next, I'm reaching for the shade Salios in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And using a flat shading brush, I am packing this onto the eyelid, focusing on the inner corners, and I want to make sure that this is super bright and opaque. And using that flat shading brush, I'm creating a slight cut crease on the inner corner of the eye. The next color is from the same palette and it's called Latest and it's just a deeper, more orange toned peach. I'm using this as a transition color for all of the shades that we're going to be putting in the corner wing of our eye. Um, I'm blending this halfway across the eyelid and making sure to wing it in a triangular shape on the ends of the eyes. Next I'm reaching for Morocco by Makeup Geek and on a little bit of a denser blending brush I'm going to start precisely blending that in the outer corner of the eye. I don't want to fully cover where we put that latest shade um, because we do want to make sure that the transition is there and visible. So just concentrate it on the very outer corner and blend it in continuously until you can no longer see a sharp line between Latest and Morocco. And also make sure that you are extending that wing because we want to keep that feline cat eye shape to the eyeshadow. The next shade that I'm taking is the color Solace, also from the Kat Von D palette. And this color I'm going to concentrate solely on the outer corner and crease of the eye to add depth. So as you can see, I'm very gently and very carefully applying that brown color to the outer corner, making sure not to overpower or cover the other shades. I'm concentrating it on the very, very outer corner and making sure that it is blended. I keep blending and blending and blending until it looks absolutely perfect. I'm going to go back with that shade Salios just as a brow bone highlight. And then before I go any further with this look, I'm going to take a clean Kleenex. You can use a makeup wipe or a Q-tip with some cream or makeup remover on it. And I'm going to use this to make sure that the outer wing of our eyeshadow is cut nicely and to wipe away anything that fell on my cheeks before we apply our foundation. So recently I've been on the hunt for a really good drugstore foundation and I've been loving this L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. I use the shade 102 and I apply it by dotting it all over my cheeks and chin first and blending it in with a damp beauty blender. I will then go in and do it to my forehead as well. The reason I do it in two halves is because this foundation does tend to um, dry up quite quickly so I want to make sure I'm blending it in perfectly so I do it in two halves but this foundation is amazing for layering so I do go back in and add a little bit more foundation where I find I need more coverage. As an under eye concealer and overall highlight, I use the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I believe it's number 230. It's the lightest shade that they have. And I love this concealer. It's super glowy and brightening. I know it looks like I'm using a lot of product, but this actually has the thinnest consistency and it's super glowy. I find that I don't need to even set it afterwards with a powder because it never cakes up for me. So I just apply it and blend it in with a damp beauty blender and then move on to applying it to my chin, nose, cupid's bow and forehead as a highlight and again blending it out with my damp beauty blender. I'm then taking vanilla from the Anastasia contour kit which is almost done, I need to reorder so bad and I'm just dusting that over the center of my face where I applied that highlight just because I do have very oily skin so I find that this helps keep everything in place. Next, I'm taking the shade Charcoal by MAC and I use this to fill in my brows. I always make sure to brush them out first because it makes sure that they're all in place and that you're filling in all of the gaps. 
Then I go on a hunt for my eyebrow brush. Is it just me or does everybody's eyebrow brush go missing? It's always the hardest brush for me to find and I always end up searching like this. I'm so glad I finally caught it on camera. <laughs> but eventually I find it and I continue filling in my brows. I'm not going to go in depth with this today just to save time, but if you want to see an in-depth brow tutorial, uh, just let me know and I'll be sure to film that for you guys. Now moving on to my eyeliner, I've recently tried to explore into drugstore eyeliners so I'm using this random one from L'Oreal, it's in their blackest black shade. Um, I kind of like it, I kind of don't hate love relationship. Um, again, if you guys want to see a detailed eyeliner tutorial, I will do that for you. Just let me know, um, but I don't like going into detail because it takes forever. So I'm applying a black mascara as well before I apply my falsies. My falsies are a pair that I got from my local beauty supplier. They don't actually have a brand name, um, but I will link a similar pair in the down bar below if you guys are interested. If I can give you one piece of advice in this video for your eyelashes, it's to make sure that you allow allow your glue to go tacky before you try and apply your eyelash because if you don't let it do that the glue will just slip and slide and the eyelash will be so much harder to attach to your lash line so always make sure to let the glue go tacky blow on it do whatever you have to do before you apply your lash next I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in medium deep and I use this to warm up the face. Um, I'm going to blend this out all over the hollows of the cheeks and the cheekbones, um, also in the temples and at the top of the forehead, and of course along the jawline and the neck, especially if you're wearing something that's exposing your chest and your neck, you want to make sure that you're applying your bronzer along the neck area because you want everything to blend in seamlessly and you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask. I mean, that ain't cute. Next, I'm taking the shade Fawn from the Anastasia Contour Kit and I use this to contour my face. Uh, so by placing that Too Faced bronzer down first, I find that it acts somewhat like a transition color and it makes it a lot easier for me to blend in my contour and to make that transition just super seamless. So I'm applying my contour as I usually do in the hollows of my cheeks and along my temples and of course along the jawline. As usual, you know how it is. And then can we just take a minute for these lashes? Yes! Yes! Next, I'm taking the Champagne Pop by Becca highlighter. I mean, a classic. I don't think that I will ever be over this highlight. It's beautiful. And I keep applying and applying and applying. I really like to buff in my highlighter to make it one with my skin as if I have that JLo glow. I was born with that JLo glow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And I did apply that to my Cupid's bow as well because it's pretty. Then I'm taking the shade Berry Amore, it's a blush by Milani. Love this because it has gold flecks in it and it continues my beautiful highlight. Uh, don't mind my stained brush, okay, it's stained, not dirty. Then I'm going in with my lip liner, which is Max Whirl, a classic, a beautiful nude. And I use this to um, outline my lips. Always, 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 always line your lips. I don't care what color you're using, you always line them first. And then I'm pairing this with the shade Modesty by MAC. This is a holy grail for me. It's a classic. I find myself always reaching for it and it never lets me down. So after that, the makeup's done and I move on and I go and curl my hair and put on my romper, which is from Zara, by the way. And that's it. This is a look that I go to all the time for formal events. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It's light. It's fresh. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and comment below on looks you would like to see in the future and I will see you in my next video. Bye!